Hey guys, so today um, we are going to be filming this Cheshire, 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 Chester cat, whatever. That cat from Alice in Wonderland. So this is the look that we came up with. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to see this look be created, go ahead and keep watching. So we are starting off with a primer. It's an illuminating primer. And now we are going to start putting on foundation. It's a very lightweight foundation. Eileen has really nice skin, so she really doesn't need something really heavy. Also, we went for the color, a color that's lighter than her complexion. So we are just blending the foundation out throughout her skin. Um, she has really nice skin, so it was pretty easy doing that. We are going to try to blend out the eyebrows. We're going to try to get them one single color. Um, she was actually really, <laughs> she thought this was real funny. Yeah, so we're here with, it was a white concealer that we used over the eyebrows. And now we're using a very fair light concealer. Cover up most of the eyebrows, which we had trouble doing because they're very dark colored eyebrows so here we're starting to do the purple eyebrows um, getting to, getting the shape of these was very hard and um, very interesting um, but we actually were able to do it you don't need perfect eyebrows I mean it's a Halloween look like that's not what you're really going for you're just going for something crazy and fun and that's what these eyebrows are they're purple eyebrows I mean who has purple eyebrows and I knew that they were crazy, so I was like, we're going in the right direction. So yeah, we were just filling in eyebrows, and now we are going to clean them up with some concealer, just going around the edges. Um, it's just the concealer that we use on the actual eyebrows. That's what we used, again, to cover, clean up the eyebrow. Um, one is thicker than the other, but later on I ended up fixing this it. I realized that one was thicker than the other and that looked more crazy than we wanted. Um, so here we are just going over with a transition shade on the eyelid. It's a very light pink. It was a shimmer shade, but our main colors for this look are purple, pink, white, black. For Eileen's eyes, we wanted something very smoky, but to really have that purple and the pink in there. So here we are just trying to get that purple um, into a very intense color. So what I did is that most of this makeup is from Mexico, uh, a brand called Bisu. So what they do is they sell little like pots of of eyeshadow in different colors so that's where I got these I actually made a mistake here so I had to go back and clean that up so yeah that's where those purples come from and I think one other palette it's a Dior palette but it's like years old I don't even know what it's called to really get that cat eye look we did a wing right in the middle in hot pink um, we thought that accentuate. Also, to make the eye look cat-esque, we did white right in the middle to elongate it. We went over the white with a crayon, a white crayon, just to make sure that the white is very noticeable and you can actually tell the difference. On the waterline, we just did a more smoky eye more of the dark colors, the dark purple, the black, a little bit of pink in here. Just like in the top, we only used a little bit of pink, the bottom only has a little bit. We elongated the wing eyeliner across the white so it could look more like a cat eye. So we just started to put on concealer. This was more of a, a watery concealer. This is just a highlight the bottom of her eyes here we just start to create the cat nose right in the center of the nose we're trying to do like a little heart 
shape to it. Again guys, I'm not a makeup artist. I only do makeup on myself. So this was a challenge for real. Even the eyes, the eyebrows were probably the hardest part. We left like a little heart in the middle of the cat nose to fill it in with a purple eyeshadow. And we topped it off with a little bit of shimmer on it. You could see that right here. That's just shimmer and purple eyeshadow. Also did want to contour in this look. I felt like that just gives it more of like an, an edge and more of an oomph. Um, yeah, this was just purple and a little bit of pink. And that was basically all we did for the contour. We didn't really put anything else on. Since the beginning, Eileen wanted to highlight, to put some highlight somewhere on her face. So we started doing that right here. It was just one of those shimmery eyeshadows in purple and pink and mix them together and we got this highlight. So here we used a nude pencil to start lining the mouth. Um, basically we used nude so I could know where I'm going to be going over on the lines. You could see that here we drew the mouth, the teeth. We accentuated the jawline so it could be bigger than her actual mouth. So used makeup, the those like costume makeup from Walmart. That's what we used for this. Um, so we're just going over whatever we don't want in white for the teeth, whatever that is in black. So basically the inner parts of the mouth, the um, edges, everything that is not teeth that's what is the black so now we just started to fill in the teeth we did the rest of the black off camera Eileen was getting tired so we just started to fill in the teeth you do want to clean your brush after every tooth or every like two teeth because the black starts smearing on the brush so it's harder to get it only white so you do probably want to start cleaning that brush again we filled in the teeth off camera I mean it was getting tired so I was doing that and here I'm just going over again the black whatever white um, trespassed that's what we're going over with the black again mostly the outer lines and some of the inner lines in in between the teeth So she was drinking so some of her white and black came off of her lips so we're just going over that again with the black and with the, and with the white paint. And here we start the neck area. So this is just that same black paint but in white. We got that from Walmart and we're just trying to make the neck look like the cat. But we're using white and purple. This purple is a glittery purple. It has like gold glittery flakes so it looks really really cool um, up against the light so here is the final look we did add some purple eyeshadow on the forehead to add some dimension. We did some brush strokes over the chest area to make it look like fur. So it was just basically like lighter purples and white to add some dimension to that fur too. We also did the whiskers. We put white paint first and then we put the black paint. Um, we did like a swish movement 
and that is this look okay guys that wraps up this video um it was a long one actually we took like four hours three hours yeah around that time to create this this week we hit 400 and then we hit 500 on my subscriber count so i just want to say thank you so much to everyone that is subscribed to my channel and watches my videos thank you guys and look at this masterpiece Also, this is my first time ever doing a Halloween makeup anything. I have never done a Halloween makeup anything, not even on myself. Never, 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 nothing. <coughs> so, yeah, I don't think it came out too bad. Bye, guys.